I am a spider. Hi, how are you? Four pairs of walking boots, I'm a Nancy Sinatra. Sitting peacefully, content with mingling, until the evening, when my evil senses get to tingling. But isn't it a great time, chilling in the daytime, until the night arrives, and then it's playtime. I wear four Air Force pairs at the same time, connected to my web before giving you some face time. Lending your brave night, gave a brave fight, until I made a dinner plate of his grave sight. In the daytime, I'm a whip. Then when the night time arrives, I get kind of wild! She'll open at a gog and add a candy on the diet, a candy one, a cannon paw. A self propelling hairy hand with eight fingers wrapped around a pair of scary fangs or eight pincers. Oh, wait a moment, I must finish up a few things. Wrap up a customer, pick up a couple of loose strings. Circadian boot swings, change the way I do things. I could lose a few limbs and just be like, oof, cringe. Went into the dentist and I said to them, my tooth stings. They didn't find a double entendre too amusing. And I may not be tall, but when I'm climbing up the walls, right behind you, you'll be frightened while you're trying not to fall, right? Down into the dungeon, find yourself in a conundrum right in time, as I'm invited you to help me out with lunch. I'm climbing up your spout. That rain won't wash me out. I'm climbing up your spout. Your mates won't hear you shout. I'm a brain on legs, and I made it in my element. And when I'm spitting red, as if I'm Eminem, picking up the pen again and dip it in the poison. Liquify your and turn your organs into hoisin. So bring your boys in, tell them this will hurt. With the main course finished, then I'll have them for dessert. Inciting paranoia with a side of violet nausea. Call me Dali open well when I'm about to slice your cornea. A primordial killer, debilitating prey with serrated razor blades dipped in danger mayonnaise. I'll eat you in my own home like a takeaway. So just let the venom penetrate your brain like fade aways. It needn't have to happen in a painful way. So lay awake. Breathe, count down from ten and then fade away. I'm crawling up your wall. Skeleton hopping on your back like Aladdin on an elephant, accessorizing spiders like a bone white petticoat. But we know I'm only here to maximize the SEO. We're just some friendly bros, but to you with deadly foes, dropping every flow like a heavy load wherever we go. So let's go, skeleton. My exoskeleton is ready to propel us to the next low fella that we find in the mind. Digging redstone diamonds will kindly provide him a nice little headstone inscribed with the line What's alive? Now he's dead, low. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. <clears throat> they say of the fable that businessman croon, that dog may be dog, but he pays the raccoon. Filling up the coffers, billing up the otters, watching them squirm. Yes, lions and tigers and bears, oh my firm, I think. Mountains from founding these half-finished villages Run down little town that I fill up with idiots Declare one the mayor, flare their ego a little bit Charge them with fixing it, then charge for the privilege You buy land at a high deposit when I drop profitable hobbles on it Each island is like a wallet, cause I got the whole place in my pocket You crank the land value with every little bit of spin and polish If I get a better tenant than you, well thank you, everything it's about time I took some more payments from your good selves I'm just balancing the books, but I'm still waiting on the bookshelves You promised you'd build me once you'd 
match the vents. Don't like it, then bill me, I'll just add it to the rent. Never seen a game so twee, but there's administration fees with this little haven we chisel from complacency and we pay gratefully, slaving every day for the price tag attached to the back of our new horizon. A tie that racked up a tycoon can't handle my mess, you'd best stick with Splatoon. You'll be knee deep in seashells before we hit noon, and that's hardly a dent in the deck you've accrued. You may wonder why we keep moving around The houses you buy aren't that structurally sound A few years will lapse, they collapse to the ground And these suckers cough up for another new town You call me amoral is that what you think? Well, at least I've not driven my assistant to drink. Oh, dear little Isabel is caught in a living hell. It's fishing in yard work, not building a citadel. Overworked, underpaid, that poor little shit zoo. Managing a bunch of animals, I guess it really is. I guess you see the fun there. Somewhere you turned out to be, if I do say so. How fitting in a town full of critters that the only human is the scapegoat. Never seen a game so twee, but there's administration fees. For this little haven we chisel from complacency. And we pay gratefully, slaving every day for the price tag attached to the back of our new. Erosion has seldom been so inoffensive No matter the tax and whatever the rent is They flock and they hurt just to pay their expenses With no picket line except a few garden fences Read between the lines and you might find the margin So eat up the jargon, don't argue the bargains Or I'll add a no pets clause, it wouldn't be hard And I'll have every resident live in the garden. Never seen a game so twee, but there's administration fees for this little haven we chisel from complacency, and you pay it gratefully. Slave it every day for the price tag attached to the back of your new horizon. <laughs> right, rent's due, and I think you owe me some nuts or fruit or fish or something. Compiling my own compliments Complaints are confidential So no one knows my abilities Are limited to lying I'm a living liability I'm shaken not sturdy Chosen vocation mistaken Somehow traversing these spaces Without disturbing the lasers I hurtle through hurdles of pain and pray not to be castrated May lack a plan But that won't deter me From dashing straight in hands and blazing He's a man with a hand Instead of a gun And he's coming to undo Whatever you've done He's the man with a hand Instead of a gun Messing your mouth to plan up before i 
This is the wrong screen! You know... Normally I try to start... in on my bullshit. About the time the, um... Timer ends. But, like... The Man with the Hand Instead of a Gun is a great song, and it has a fade out, and who am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? You know, you, you take what's offered. And a free fade out that I don't have to put effort in is always not welcome. So before we do Hildebrand, I'm going to do an expert roulette because I didn't do any yesterday. So we should just go ahead and get that under way. I'm going to do it on healer so we can get into that shit. I'm, I'm kind of boned or not in the new dungeon, but you know, whatever, we'll take it. All is good in the hood, as people who are not me say. I don't live in the hood, I just live in the shitty part of town. So we should be finishing Hildebrand tonight. To the best of my knowledge. If we don't, I'm gonna be surprised. Like I'm I thought last time was the last story, but I believe we're definitely on the last one this time. I got my temperature balances wrong on my camera. That is vexing. It's like mildly annoying. It's not like actually annoying. Might have to fix it. I keep looking at it and I don't like it. Like a black is black. It's fun. But face is pale as shit. I mean, I'm kind of pale, but I'm not that pale. Like, I go outside, I do shit outside. It's such a cool environment that they made. I wonder if Smileton's ever going to come up again. I'd be interested to see it. Like, I, I, I'm not entirely certain what they do with it, but I'd be interested to see them do something with it. Like, because some people, I, I believe there's reference to some people journeying to the moon to go and learn it. Basically, I think there's I think there's some passing mention of Charleans traveling to the moon to learn and eat more things. So perhaps we have some interaction with that. I doubt it. I think they're just going full hog into the next storyline being um, stuff with the 13th. Is that right? No. Uh, whichever world was lost to bullshit. I think it's the 13th, or is it the 12th, excuse me, not the 13th. I don't know what I'm talking about.
Pay no attention to the crazy person behind the camera who doesn't know what it looks they speak. I'm also still recovering from work. It was a long fucking day. Still shifting gears, as it were. So yeah, last Hildebrand we left off. We finished the arc with the gladiators, which I thought was the last arc. I couldn't remember the arc after that, even though I know how it ends. No, the next arc uh, is treasures. The gladiator arc is... I don't know why I remember the gladiator arc so well, when it's kind of like... Having played through it again, it's not as remarkable as I remember it being. I don't know if I just remembered it too well. Like, I just... I remember there being more pizzazz than I think there really was in that arc. And I don't remember... Honestly, I don't remember the Heavensward one as well. I need to be an ang happy face. I wasn't paying attention. I'm fucking stupid. I should have, uh, sure cast him. That's what I should have done. Man, this is so much slower when I'm not DPSing. Not saying they suck, I'm saying I'm better. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's not the right statement to make. Statement I'm making now. All right, I'm gonna be fine. Red's what I need. Chest should spawn like right there, right in front of his little chinny chin chin. All right, it was right there, right at the edge of his chinny chin chin. I didn't even notice that person die. I just looked around, I'm like, hmm. There's a cat girl on the floor. Get that looked at. Uh -huh. Also, in other news that you can't use, I ordered a new mountain biking jersey, and uh, I fucking hate the cut of the sleeves, so I'm ordering a different one. I'm sending it back and getting a different one. So. Now we get to wait a bit longer. I was gonna wear it tomorrow, but it didn't fit, so I'm not gonna wear it tomorrow. That I'm gonna wear a t-shirt again. And get really hot. And just soak my t-shirt with sweat. As one does when one goes mountain biking when it's 90 degrees outside. Because it's hot. Oh, I'm just booking it ahead of the rest of the group. What are you looking at Crown Pro for? Also, are you a cat girl? Yes. The flowers confuses me. What is that hairstyle? I guess just a standard, yeah. Confused? I'm confused easily. I was confused by the, uh, what are these called? Buns? I don't know. Either way, I was confused by them. I don't know if that's a new hairstyle, if that's a cash shop hairstyle. I ain't got fucking clip. We'll find out at a different time. Man, I really want more shield procs. I mean, I guess I get to keep attacking, but I also want my shield things to fill up before we hit the next boss. And away we go. God, I don't have shit to talk about right now.
That's flashing a lot. That, I need to fix that. Fixing that right now. It was very nice of them to wait. They didn't need to. I, I, I was not going to be gone for longer than a half second. I don't know why that was strobing, but I'm not fixing it now. I already tried. It didn't work. Ah, oh, damn. I should have put a shield on myself. I like Smileton a lot. It's a really fun dungeon, but like, I don't want to run it anymore. The main reason I stopped doing expert roulettes generally is dungeon repetition kind of wears me down. You know, you, you can have the greatest sandwich of your life every day. But after a while, you're going to be sick of having that goddamn sandwich. And you're going to be wanting something else. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. That's what you do. I don't know if I'm safe where I'm standing, but oh yeah, we're hella safe. That's generally why I stop running things in general is I get tired of them. Like, it doesn't take much for there to be enough variety to keep me interested, but it takes more than the same exact fucking thing with different assholes. Aw, oh, man, I don't want to walk over here. I just want the boss to die. It's like fucking muffin. I want to die! Hmm. This distance, they almost look like Lollapels. Onwards. Alright, one more boss. And we can get the fuck out of here. See, partially I do expert because I need tombstones. And partially I do expert to give literally anyone who might have a passing interest of watching live stream to filter it. And if no one shows up, well, I'm going to be upsetting spaghetti. Because I could be asleep right now. Which would be bitchin'. But instead, I'm here. Not being asleep. We are definitely going to get a Hildebrand right after this. Because I want to go to bed! Woo! Bedtime! <laughs> But, oh, I, I want to go to sleep is what I'm saying. So we're going to do fucking Hilda Brand. And I'll talk bullshit about stuff at work. In between Hilda Brand. This tank takes fuck all damage. Like, I don't want to be a complainy McGainy. But, like, take more damage for my entertainment, please. Because otherwise, I don't have much to do. I'm half tempted to ask the tank, like, hey, would you be willing just to, like, eat every Volden stack you could possibly manage in the boss for my own entertainment? He's like, you ain't eating some Volden stacks? I feel like healing today. I'm not going to. But I'm thinking about it. Really thinking about it.
Be like, Vin, if you can make it to 10 bone sacks before the end of the dungeon, I will find you and give you some guild. I won't. Because, fuck that. But I'll talk about it on the live stream. I kind of really want to talk about D&D. &D. Joining a fucking Curse of Strahd campaign tomorrow, and I'm excited. Asking Ben to take as many bone stacks as possible for my entertainment. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Ben's getting a commendation. <laughs> oh, that was only one bone sack bullshit. This is unironically fantastic. I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> He's up to eight. He's up to eight. <laughs> this is great. No, Vin, you forgot the AoE, you fool! Oh, he hit Max, that's lame. Oh god. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying myself. See, this is what I like about healing. I like what I'm having to fucking put the work in. I mean, he's at max. It's not that hard. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, definitely have to come in Vin, because they did what I asked. <laughs> Right, yeah, you're damn right. I got a player commendation. I hope Vin got the rest of the player commendations. Hmm. You know what? That's a good start to the night. Let's go empty this stuff out of the inventory real quick. And then get the story underway. I'm just pleased with that. Some tank appealing to my dumb whims. It's hard to complain. Hold on, I see a fat cat. I must interact with the fat cat. I need a fat cat interaction macro. I don't know why I don't have one of those. Like legit. I interact with basically every fat cat I see. 
and I type in the fucking commands wrong half the time, so I don't know why I don't just have a macro for it. Can I have a macro that does the three emotes with the fat cats and then targets an inter in, uh, da -da, and then invites the owner of the fat cat to the free uh, free company fellowship owner of the fat cat to the fellowship words are hard I have no fucking clue and I'm not about to find out anyways it's time for Hildebrand um new game plus there it is Resume. I heard something disappear. Was that my cat? And it's back. Bitchin'. Speaking of bitchin'. That sword is fantastic! What is that? Dead Hive Claymore. Huh. Is it died? No. Huh. I don't know. Rec like, I, that Dead Hive is... That's his, that's Heaven's Word, isn't it? I think that's Heaven's Word. I don't know. Fuck it. Okay. Hildebrand. Bup, bup, bup. Where'd my new game plus go? Oh. <laughs> I moved it and I got lost. God damn it. Where is it? Where the fuck? It's somewhere. It's, I think it's in the other. God, this is going to be embarrassing. I have to go out and find the. <laughs> Fucking quest because I'm stupid and don't know where it is. Outstanding. Start walking and looking, I suppose. Can't wait. There it is. Ha! I was right. Suck it. Fuck you. I don't know if you doubted me, but I believe that you. Now it's. Okay. It begins. Ellie would share with you a shocking new turn in the Phantom Thief case. All right. Shall we begin with? I'm stalling, okay? Fuck you, I am definitely stalling. Cause Ellie's voice, I always forget Ellie. I remember Ellie's voice like midway into the first uh, set of interactions. It was a less pompous. What was his name? Shit. A less font. Ah, uh, pompous, yes. A less pompous version of the elf whose name is escaping me. I look so pale in my fucking camera today. I'm not that pale. I just did a terrible job setting up my camera. Anyways, I was wondering when you'd show up, Farsham. I hope you haven't made any plans for the day, because we've got a situation on our hands. We'll just have to figure it out as we go along. Remember our good friend, the Phantom Thief? Well, it seems he's decided to branch out from burglary to cold-blooded murder. If the rumors are to be believed, he's claimed three victims already, all influential members of a Dolan society. Mr. Many Faces has been kind enough to leave his signature calling card at every scene, leaving no doubt as to the identity of the murderer. The message is always the same. The weight of five corpses will bring the scales of justice to balance. More riddles. Not that you'll hear me. Not that you'll. Not that you'll hear me complaining. No, the only thing my readers like more than a good mystery is a good murder mystery. Since the story broke, the Mithra has been selling like Pond's cakes. The only rub is that it's left me no time to look into that thief's last message. Until now, it is. Shall we, Varshan? The hidden treasure of Ulda, was it? If there's anyone who can shed some light on this, it's you know who. To the Sun Silks Tapestries. I. Uh... My money is Sultana, but it could also be Godbird. My money is always on Godbird. So we're going to... I was about to walk the wrong fucking direction. Alright, Aetherite Plaza. I don't know why I thought hitting Enter would just hit the fast travel. Weird. I'm... Oh, it's it's Wellman. Wailman? What's his name? Wayman? Wyman. <laughs> oh, I saw that guy earlier. Yeah. He was in the gold saucer following me around as I was doing my uh, daily plant jumping. 
I don't have to explain myself to you. Okay, Wayman was... Uh, well now. Nope. Crikey. Crikey. Uh, excuse me. Good eye, Bruce. He could be good eye, Bruce. Wamond. On Alpha, ain't my favorite adventure and my favorite myth of life. Nope. Just going straight to a noir. No noir. Private eye. Nope. He was... Scots Irish? Scots British? Scott British? Irish? Ibrish? How did he do a lap that fast? Hold the fuck up. Well, now, if my ain't my favorite venture and my favorite Mithril Eye reporter, along with their favorite Mithril Eye reporter, along with her, tell me, what have I done to deserve the pleasure of your company today? That's what we're going with. Fuck it. I don't remember. It was a full ass month ago. Fuck you. I don't prep. I'm a piece of shit. I see. And as much as I'd like to help two lovely ladies, I'm afraid you found old Wyman at a loss. Old Da has far more than its fair share of treasures, isn't it otherwise? I reckon our phantom friend can be after just about any of them. What the fuck is this accent supposed to be? What garbage am I spewing? What is that person wearing? <laughs> I can tell you this much, though. Whatever this thief's got his eyes on, it's got the Sultan Swan at the right dither. Word has it, they've formed a regiment of their best and brightest to safeguard the royal vaults from this very threat. The Sultan Swan aren't like to be forthcoming with information, but it's the only lead we've got. Oh, it's Ellie! Fuck! The Sultan Swan aren't likely to be forthcoming with information, but it's the only lead we've got. Come on, Varsham, I say it's time we paid a visit to the head of the Sol head of the Swan. Oi, hold up there, Ellie. I ain't generally the worrying type, but if you want to, to think twice before getting yourselves involved in this... A man in my business develops a nose for danger, and this time, the stench is something first. You're a poor alley, and a fine one at that. Don't put that pretty neck of yours at risk trying to play a hero. Your concern is touching, but I can assure you that I'm ready for whatever dangers I had. Besides, being a reporter is about more than selling papers. I have a duty to seek out the truth and convey it to the people. Come, Barsham, time is of the essence. Okay. Goodbye, Wyman. I will see you later. Ah, oh, yes, a bad Russian accent. Excuse me. Uh, every time the bad Russian accent is mentioned, uh, you have to follow up with bad Russian accent. Bad Southern accent. Okay. We're gonna walk there, cause... Why am, why am I walking there? Where am I fucking going? This Husting Street. Deep. Where am I going? Merchants? No, it says Hustings, but I don't see the... Okay, I'm gonna fast travel. Fuck this shit. And you know what? I'm gonna be ready to punch. A great man once said, At a moment's notice, your fists must be ready to throw hands. Uh... Oh, well now it fucking shows up. Alchemist Guild. Only I could read. Um, bum, 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 bum. There it is. Ah, Humphrey. What does Humphrey sound like? Humphrey. What's a what's a good Humphrey voice? Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get really close. And Humphrey, and channel my inner Humphrey. He looks a bit sharp, but he definitely looks a bit. Hmm. His hair says dude bro, his face says punk rock. Cha ja, dude. That's not what Humphrey's gonna sound like, but it's tempting. Uh, I think Humphrey's gonna be pretty normal. I don't know how much Humphrey factors into this. I don't remember this, I, like I vaguely remember the final story, so I don't know who factors in enough to warrant fucking like locking a voice in and who doesn't. You know, other than the standards of Hildebrand and everyone else whose names I don't remember. You know, Hildebrand and Greg and and um Nashu, yeah, and Hildebrand's dad. Names are hard. Alright. We're just gonna start reading and we're gonna see what Humphrey sounds like together. 
and we'll, we'll all be surprised, because I have no fucking clue what I'm going to say. <clears throat> halt. No. No. I refuse. Fuck that. Nope, not doing that one. Halt. Only authorized personnel are allowed in. That's, I guess that's what we're doing. Thaw, thaw bugger me with a broadsword. It's the Gentleman of Light's adventuring companion, and that catty but cute reporter from the Mithril Eye. Well, well, if it isn't the self-styled warrior of light, tell me what tales did you spin to the Sultan Sworn recruiter to land yourself in this position? I remember Humphrey now. I'd forgotten who the fuck Humphrey was. He was in the first one. He was out in the village trying to steal from people. Shit, what did he sound like? He was a fake pirate accent, wasn't he? So he's gonna be really generic. I'm regretting a lot of this. Just, just so much, just all the time. Just top to bottom, just regret, regret, beginning, end. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a really normal voice. Why the Twelve's honest truth, miss? Seeing that gentleman of light standing tall and triumphant that day, it, it moved me to the depths of me soul. Like, I, I vowed to put aside my sketchy past and serve the realm, just like my hero, Master Hildebrand. The Sultan Sworn were impressed with my commitment and my sword arm, and they gladly welcomed me into their ranks. Wait, don't tell me. You've come to assist Master Hildebrand in this investigation, haven't you? Cool. Why didn't you say so sooner? It's the least I could do to help the two ladies who united me with my role model. That is, that's a choice he made right there. That's a fucking choice. You'll be wanting to speak with the, with Phil, with Felice, with, you'll be wanting to speak with Felice. She's one of the Sworn's best, and something of a history buff, it seemed. When she heard the thief was targeting the four relics of Bell Die, she personally stepped forward and volunteered to lead the investigation. If anyone has the information you're looking for, it'd be her. Wait here while I get her. I trust you not to touch anything, I. Oh, cool, blimey, my shite. Oh, God. I'm gonna need way more energy drink. That was sour. Why was it sour later? A pleasure to meet you, Felice. My name is Ellie, from the Mithril Eye. As you may have heard, we're researching the Phantom Thief case, and would appreciate any information that may shed light on recent events. Uh, let me, let me skim real quick. I, I don't do female voices. I'm really bad at them. Hmm. Lighting is pretty intense in this area. Um... Ba, 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 ba. I haven't done Valley. She's not Valley Girl. I should have retitled this to trying to think of voices and then doing bad voice acting. The live stream. Live stream. What the fuck was that? I'm going to clip that. I deserve that. Uh, let's go with the pleasure is mine, Miss Ellie. And if I'm not mistaken, that would make your companion friend here one Varsham Scrap Iron, yes? Game. Just like, click. You know Varsham? As any regular reader of the Mithril, I would. I must confess to being something of an unabashed fan of your work. Though it hardly befits my station to say this, I was secretly hoping that you would show up to assist in the investigation. Doublet. Doubtless, the inspector, too, will... Oh, I always... Why did I say doublet? What am I, retarded? Don't answer that. Just shut the fuck up. Don't answer that question. Though it hardly befits my station to say this, I was secretly hoping that you would show up to events... Though it hardly befits my station to say this, I was secretly hoping that you would show up to assist in the investigation. Doubtless, the inspector, too, will also welcome a helping hand. I assume... Yeah, inspector him. The Sultan Swan. Hmm. Let's go with HBA Hope. Now, let's get a bit intense on the shadows there. It looks fine from a distance, but up close? Oh, shit. Really uglifying in the face. The Sultan Swan. The elite of Uldar's elite, 
I can only hope they prove more competent than the bungling mercenaries I've dealt with thus far. Inspector Briardine, always one step ahead of us. Miss Ellie, hold, hold, hold the, hold the, back the fuck up, back the fuck up, back the fuck up. One step ahead of who? We were here first. Fuck you. I distinctly entered this cutscene before he did. You can see I'm right there. Ellie's there, and fuckface is over there. I dropped the object I was playing with on the floor. Oh, there it is. Found it. I was here first. You should shut the fuck up, Ellie. We. I was here when I wanted to be, because I am from the future, entering the past. At my choice and position. Choice of time and position. Fuck. Anyways. Come on, back. Come on, chair. You could do it. Fuck you, chair. Come on. Ow, I just ran a foot. I've been fucking hurt! Sorry, I keep looking over here because I'm still paranoid about the new graphics card and OBS running smoothly. Oh. All right, back to Briardine. Oh, Miss Ellie Varsham, a moment if you would. Right there, very good. Now face me and don't move an ilm. Inspector, what is in your... <laughs> um... Demasking. Demasking dusk. How many fucking hairs are gonna get in front of my eye at this exact time? What the shit? Go away. <laughs> Demasking dusk. A formula of my own devising that will allow us to see right through the thief's disguises. Analyzing the mask left behind at Vespa Bay, I was able to identify its composition and synthesize a counter-agent that would dissolve the disguise, whilst leaving the wearer's face intact. In any event, it would appear the two of you are indeed who you appear to be. Does that mean that the powder dissolved face wholesale? Because that would be exciting. Brilliant, Inspector. The Phantom Thieves pulled the wool over our eyes for the last time. I've lost Ellie's voice again. I had it for a bit earlier. Fear it won't be so simple. The ingredients necessary to produce the dust are exceedingly rare. Even with the entire resources of the Sultan sworn at our disposal, we've only, we were only able to produce a limited supply, which he wasted on us. Because storytelling. I see. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. That said, have you been able to identify the Thief's Nef's target? A hidden treasure of Ulda, the last of the four lost relics of Veldai. I fear not. I've poured through the histories time and again, but the only mention of these four relics is a vague reference in an old prophecy. Most serious scholars consider it little more than a fairy tale. When darkness falls and hope fades to despair, four warriors born of light shall descend in the righteous glare. The legend goes on to describe four sacred artifacts, one each possessed by these four Beldian heroes. It makes no mention as to their appearance or nature. Three times have we tried to identify the thief's target, and three times has he foiled us by making off with something else entirely. Needless speculation will only play to the fiend's strength. All artifacts of Veldine origin have been sealed within the Royal Vault, and a regiment of our finest assigned to its protection. I have furnished all the guards with a supply of demasking dusk and instructed them to be on the lookout for any suspicious personages. Oh shit, uh... The blackguard will be in chains. The blackguard will be, blah, the blackguard will be in chains before he can lay a dirty hand on the vault doors. Let alone the treasures within. You have our word, my lady. Ah, uh, 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 now that I see his face, I regret that choice. I, he, I'm assuming he's never going to speak again. But there are even more disturbing matters at hand. Doubtless, you have heard of the recent rash of murders perpetrated by our quarry. The Sultan Sworn have launched an investigation, but the truth of the matter is that we have been too. F uh, the truth of the matter is that we have been far too occupied with the defense of the boss to make any meaningful progress. 
We'd be most grateful for any assistance you could offer. Oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Mm, that was good knuckle pop. That was incredibly cold. <clears throat> Hildebrand. 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 Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, investigator extraordinaire. A lady asked, and a gentleman answers. I'm going to cease that now, because I've completely missed the song. Cast all worry from your heart, my lady. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, invest... Inspe blah, 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 blah. Cast all worry from your heart, my lady. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has arrived to set right what is wrong and bring the wicked to justice. Oh, yeah. Lick the teeth like a fucking weirdo. Blah, blah, blah. And this must be the demasking dust that is the talk of the palace. Ah, but you need not waste your supply on me, Inspector. I assure you that I'm exactly who I claim to be. There's a red across the bottom of the screen. A shame, that. Inspector Hildebrand, we were not expecting you, but your services are most welcome. I will share all I know about the recent murders. Why with him? Time for more liquid cocaine. The killer has claimed three victims thus far. The head of a publishing consortium, high-ranking government official, and an influential scholar. Other than that they were all influential figures in their... Blah, 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 blah. Other than that they... Blah, blah. Other than that they were all influential figures in their respective circles. We can identify no common threads connecting to the three. Oh ho! This will prove. Oh ho! This will prove. Prove. This will prove. Hildebrand. Oh ho! This will prove a most satisfying case to crack, indeed. And what of the method of killing? Coked on, conked over the head with a cudgel, gutted with a great sword, strangled with a subligar, mayhap. Subligar is a gauntlet. Right? What's a subligar? The pants! I don't know. Subligar! Oh. It's a kind of undergarment worn by ancient Romans. So literally strangled with underwear. Yep. That's what it feels like to be wrong again. I'm afraid that we've identified no pattern. In any event, the murder plots the death of two more even as we speak. We must take action and quickly. Understood, my lady. Clues may be scarce, but worry not. My realm-renowned powers of deduction are more than up to the task. I will see this burglar turned butcher delivered to justice. Hildebrand. Your presence is heartening indeed, Inspector Hildebrand. Friends, please take this demasking dust with you. I fear we can spare but a single sachet, but I trust you will put it to good use. Hmm. All right. Hello. Time to oh, excuse me. Come to accompany me on yet another case, friend. I like your gusto, but if you are auditioning to be my assistant, I fear that role has already been filled most ably. Still, a gentleman welcomes the support of all his admirers. I shall henceforth name you thusly, Varsham, my ever loyal associate. And now, my ever-loyal associate, investigation calls. I propose that we begin by inspecting the site at which the most recent victim met his demise. My questioning about the palace has revealed that the scholar's body was found not far from the 80 sins of Sasimo. Even the most circumcept of criminals cannot help but leave behind clues. Clues that will not elude my gaze. Friends, let us be off. Pray, alert me should you see anyone suspicious, my ever-loyal associate. We must put Priscilla, Miss Fis Fili fuck. We must put Miss Felice's demasking dust to good use. Hup, 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 hup. 
What the fuck are you wearing? Oh. What is that? What skirt is that? Hold on. Hold the hold the fuck. Hold the fuck up. What skirt is that? Cashmere skirt of Amy. That's a good skirt. It just means it looks shorter on my character than it does on hers. Eh, not really. It's kind of the top. How does one get that skirt? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna write that down. Uh, cashmere skirt of Amy. Wait, wait, wait. There's multiples. It's... Ah, I will come back to that. Any who's the woozles. Uh, just exit through the teleport. Always on the hunt for good glamours. All right, there's Hildebrand. All right, what you got, Hildebrandy? Hmm, flowers. Yes, it is all becoming clear to me now. Our phantom killer is a florist who, in his hurry to escape, carelessly mislaid his wares. Oh, shit. Just what do you think you're doing, eh? Hey! This is, oh, it's a hag. Oh. I'm the one that put those bloody flowers there, eh? Hold on. I've been smoking 12 packs a day for 30 years. And ain't no one gonna take my cigarettes away from me, sir. I'm the ones that put the flowers there, eh? The honor and memory of me poor boy. You dare defile his memory, eh? Eh? A thousand pardons, my lady. Please accept my most sincere condolences on your loss. I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. I swear to you, on my own dear mother's name, that your son's killer will be brought to justice. <laughs> As I was just saying, these flowers were clearly placed here by the family of the deceased, which can only mean... Leave this place. Run away while you still can. Run, run far away. Run or I'll turn you into a zombie. Just like my poor boy. My poor boy. Fucking what? A living person turned into a zombie. Nonsense. Not nonsense. My boy. History. Or have you not heard of the horrors of Sildir? I Or the sibling nation against which we waged war a century ago. Much blood has been shed by both sides, I. But they speak of far greater horrors than that. <sighs> I'm on my seventh pack of cigarettes. You no, don't go cigarettes. An unholy draught brewed by Sildar, an alchemist. One with the power to turn the living into the undead. And his nation might command an army of mindless, deathless soldiers. The traitors spurn. They turned my poor boy into a heap of rotten flesh and ran him through. <laughs> but you won't hear that from the Sultan Sword. Thal alone knows why. But they whisked away the body before I could do so much to pay me ass respects. The traitor spurn. I heard the stories, but I never thought them true. To be able to procure such a fright. To be able to procure such a frightening thing. Just who are we dealing with here? A Sildee, I'm sure of it. I. Only a Sildeen would know the recipe. But the last remnants of Sildeen died four centuries ago, you say? <laughs> oh, they did. They did. <laughs> he calls himself the Phantom Thief, he does. But did it never occur to you that it might be an honest to God's Phantom? Eh? Heard the tales from your own great great grandma. Did it about four the relics of Bell Die and the powers they hold, the power to exact justice. A specter of Seal D has returned to wreak vengeance on us. Whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. Whoa unto us all. Have the four warriors of light forsaken us? My dear boy, if only you'd become a traitor like your father. If only you'd kept your nose out of those history books and never so much breathe the accursed name of Seal D. But you did. And now we're doomed. 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 <laughs> I can't tell if she's laughing or crying. Okay, bye. What a nice young lady. Oh, fuck. Hildebrand's doing the pose. Ooh. 
Uh, that bleeding horse sun's here I somewhere. I can feel it in me follicles. I, I know who this is. The most potent hair tonic the realm has ever seen. Aye, that it was for all of a fortnight before my flowing locks fell out all over again. Just as I was chatting up a lovely young lass at the quicksand just to twist the knife in extra L. Mont Blanc, charlatan. I'll find that so-called inspector and his sorry band and pull every last strand of hair from their bleeding skulls. We're just we're just doing the fucking old lady voice still. Look at this little shit. What are they looking for? Fuck you. Fuck you. Grow taller. Man, don't ask me. I'm just doing the do. Ah, this dude appears to be doing hilti buildy. Hildebrand is onto something. Or at least he thinks he is. It's all becoming clear to me now. That dear old woman's testimony has confirmed that which I had suspected from the start. Like a zombie picking away at its rotting flesh, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has peeled away the foul scab of uncertainty to reveal the truth within. Open your ears and feast your minds on the fruits of my flawless deduction. <laughs> A phantom thief is a phantom indeed. A wayward spirit caught between the realm of living and dead for nigh on centuries since meeting a tragic end on the battlefield. As such, our course of action is clear. We must placate this tortured soul that it might abandon its vengeful vendetta and travel to the next life in peace. But what is the true nature of the Spectre's grievances? Without this knowledge, we cannot hope to assuage its rancor. Let us begin our search at the Thaumaturge Guild. Doubtless, the tomes there contain a wealth of knowledge that, yeah, that contain a wealth of knowledge on the ill blood between sibling nations. Notwithstanding the abject stupidity of everything else that came out of your mouth, some knowledge on Sildir might serve us well. Go and research as you will, and do take as much time as you need. You can count on me, Inspector Briardine. Gotta turn my thing down so I can hear myself, because I can't do the voices when I can't hear myself. Whatever knowledge is to be gleaned at the guild, it shall not escape my inspector's eye. I'd be much obliged if you can keep him out of my way, Varsham. I have some real investigating to do and would prefer to be free of distractions. Pet. That's a short her. Here. Yar. Time is it? Cool. So much quieter now that I turn my headphones down. What are you wearing? I want to know. Mm. All right, Nineko. What does Nineko sound like? Not a good idea. Gods be good. You're the adventurer who saved me back at the ruins. I remember you, but I don't remember what you sounded like. Fuck. Researching the ancient feud between Old Dawn and Sild, are you? Why, I'm pleased to say that I have more than a passing familiarity with ancient history. To understand the history of sibling nations, one must go back further still. To the birth of their mother nation, Beldai. Ah. The fifth astral era was an age of untold wonders, when the arcane arts blurgeoned with their great civilizations that command such powers flourished. Fucking, I, I don't know, I misread the shit out of that. <clears throat> this age of enlightenment would not last, however. Power bred avarice, and avarice bred resentment. It culminated in the War of the Magi, which brought the great floods of the Six Honorable Calamity, which in turn swallowed once proud nations and left a battered wasteland in its wake. Mages were reviled and persecuted for having caused this catastrophe, with many forced to leave their homelands or face death. It was a small band of those survivors that found their way to Thanalan where they would found the nation of Beldai some eight centuries ago. This is horribly unpleasant. I regret so much. I'm letting the cold water run down my throat. Hmm. This is hard on my throat. Ah, oh, imagine. A government of mages by mages and for mages. 
What wonders might have been wrought had Beldine civilization survived to this very day? Alas, this was not to be. Oh, God, I'm never doing that again. That was horrible. That was genuinely unpleasant to say. All right, Erasmus. Erasmus be dragon. Classic joke. You don't say. Not every day someone comes to our halls to search Sildai. As a fellow student of history, though, I more than welcome the conversation. Beldai civilization flourished in relative peace until twin sons were born to the royal family. The two were fierce rivals, and when they came of age and their father passed, each one claimed that he was the right flair to the throne. With neither son willing to relinquish his claim, they agreed to split their kingdom in two, forming the twin nations of Ulda and Sildir. But not unlike the two proud princes, the sibling nations developed a penchant for rivalry. I see. Um, Yairoko. Greetings, traveler. You would learn of the war between Ulda and the fallen sultanate of Sildir. It would be my pleasure to enlighten you. The two city-states coexisted for several generations until the bad blood between them boiled over, accumulating an outright war. As you might deduce from the present state of affairs, Ulda emerged victorious, leaving its once proud sibling nations in smoldering ruins. As the histories tell it, the battles fought between the sisters' nations were the stuff of nightmares. In a desperate attempt to uncover Uldar's superior numbers, Sildir Alchemist devised the most horrific stratagem. Employing a frightful formula known as the Traitor's Sperm, they brought their fallen warriors back as undead soldiers. Some theories have it that they even employed the potion on those of the living who were too weak and wounded to fight. Send shivers up the spine just thinking about it, no? Is a truly crowning glory of a fair nation of our fair nation that our forebears were able to emerge victorious against these horrors. I see. I wonder how much this tracks. Why are you standing on that? Excuse me. You know, I haven't talked to the Cocos in a long time. Ah, Marsham, how fair are you in your feats of fiery fulmination? <laughs> Not bad. And a Coco Buki. Um, what do I think he sounds like? What do I think Coco Buki sounds like? Okay, sitting in the old gum tree. You know, we haven't done an Australian accent. But I, Bruce, I wash him. Don't surprise me like that. What's this? You're here for your study, not for your studies, but to learn of the bad blood between Orda and Sildir. Two scales, one of gold and one of silver. The gold of all da, weighing prosperity and power. I cannot, I can't hear myself that well. Good eye, Bruce. A silver of sil dear, weighing knowledge and power. But the power sought by the two nations differ greatly. Yes, greatly indeed. The power wrought by all dawn prosperity. The power wrought by all dawn pros. Good eye, Bruce. Prosperity. How would an Australian say prosperity? Good eye, Bruce. 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 Prosperity. 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 Hmm. Was that of justice and good? While the power wrought by silt on knowledge was horrific beyond belief, belief, the power to rip the living soul out of a man and render a mindless killing machine. Ah, oh, this is a knife. On this matter, the histories are clear. But well, riddle me this, my friend. I, this is the worst Australian action I've ever done, because I've never tried to do one for this long in my life. But we're at least, my friend. Who writes the histories, and what does it say of the words we're at within? Good eye, Bruce. Yes. 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 Yes? Why is the Australian accent the one I'm least happy with? Of all the things I've tried, this is the one I'm most disappointed in. Good eye, Bruce, but riddle me less. My friend. For better or less, my friend. Me friend. My friend? Oh, yes, my friend. Who writes the histories? Good eye, Bruce. And what does the say of the words writ within? Yes. Truth can be elusive and fickle as the shifting science. Science. Fuck. Good eye, Bruce. As one example, did you know that in the war against the Sylph, Uldan... Good eye, Bruce. That's not a knife. 
Oh, this is a knife. Well done. And, 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 doi. Oint, oint. Australia was a mistake. Pop, 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 pop. Well done, and a Martian war has fought side by side. Likely you did not. And neither did I, until I encountered a faded passage in an ancient text buried deep in our archives. And yet, in the history, in the history, but I, Bruce, in the histories read by the popular, histories, fuck me, this is hard. But I, Bruce, pop another shrimp on the bobby. Pop another shrimp on the bobby. That's not a knife. Now this is a knife. What was the other one? So a word that the Australians use instead of cool. Mad. 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 And yet, in the histories read by the populace, you'll see no mention of this most fascinating fact. Might be that someone, at some time, deemed this particular truth less than convenient. Hmm. But I have said enough already. Uh, I'm gonna, I need to practice the Australian accent. It's, I don't think I've attempted it in a long form before, and it was trash. Damn. All right, go ahead and, go ahead and file that away for later as to, don't do that again. Hildebrand, my ever loyal associate, tell me, what have you learned from your questioning of the scholars in these halls? Indeed. As it happens, I have learned much the same. Let us take a moment to review and allow my peerless powers of deduction to work their magic. Sorry. <coughs> I've been distracted <coughs> by the <coughs> number of polygons on this sh fucking shirt. <coughs> They've really ramped up the amount of um, the, the complexity of the geometry from like this era to this era. Like That's a pretty good curve right there. It's probably like there, 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 and there. Well, that's kind of the arc. Hildebrand, Inspector Extraordinaire. A war of succession divides the great civilization of Veldai, giving rise to the sibling nations of Ulda and Sildi. The two nations coexist for some generations until Ill, until Ill boils over, culminating in outright war. Daunted by Old Da's superior might, Sildi employs their advanced alchemical knowledge to horrific ends, transforming their own citizens, alive and dead, into a fearsome undead legion. Yes, I believe I have it. The facts at hand have led me to one unassailable conclusion. Our phantom thief is the descendant of the doomed Sildi, who seeks vengeance against those who reduced his countrymen to slavering zombies. To pacify his soul and send him peacefully to the next world, there is but one course of action. We must find the Sildin statesman who conceived of this dreadful stratagem, and have him apologize to the thief in person for the suffering he has wrought. You're a retard. <laughs> a brilliant plan. Perhaps you'd like to give yourself a shovel and dig this statesman out of the grave yourself. Leaving aside this nonsense of spirits and specters, it appears increasingly likely that a quarry shares some link to Sildir. This Garish garb is no doubt meant to evoke the civil scales of fallen sultanate. <laughs> this Sildin connection would also serve to explain the rare knowledge of Veldian relics our thief clearly possesses. Hmm. What of the murder victims? What common threat against them could have incurred the eye of our adversary? A few people in the town spoke of a man sighted calling upon the victims in the last past days. Those who saw him said he had a most frightened air about him. Wait. Yes, it's coming to me. Of course. My keen investigator's senses ring out with a voice loud and clear. This man Miss Ellie speaks of just might know something. God, he's fucking stupid. You really should stop thinking so hard. You're like to strain you're like to strain a brain muscle. Miss Ellie, who is this man and where might we find him? My sources identified the man as Gugiria, a traveling merchant known to frequent Horizon. Can we play him a visit? Why is there a red haze across the bottom of my screen? Is that just a cutscene thing? No, it's constant. What is that from? It's from my reshade. Interesting. 
I never noticed that until just now. Also, I dropped the thing I was playing with. Once again, ruining my day. Get the fuck over the railing. Jesus. We're going to Horizon now. We'll just, we'll just huff it. It'll be fine. Um... The silence is definite. Where's the setting for... Um... Mount... Excuse me. Mount... There it is. I just need some background. Like, I'm alone with my thoughts here, and it's terrifying. Screams. So many screams. What the fiddly fuck is Angelis doing here? What free company are in these days? They're in orbit. Hmm. And Gugira. What is Gugira gonna sound like? Y y yes. If you've got business, make it quick. My, my time's too v valuable to waste chatting with every stranger who passes by. I hate that. That's not very entertaining. Forgive us, good sir. My name is Ellie, a portal with the mithril eye. Never blinking, all seeing. You know the rest. I was wondering if we could trouble you with just a few questions. Was it for love or for money that you killed them? Yes, you. The thief of many faces. Me? A thief? Wh what is this nonsense? I don't know who you are, but I ain't got the time or the patience for this mummery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important client awaits. I thought I recognized that voice. That's the lady. There it is. Lady Terilda, well met indeed. Pray tell, whatever brings you to these environs this far, fair evening, this fire evening. Why, I live here, you ham, ham-headed half-wit. Inspector Bridey, this is an unexpected pleasure. Do you have some business with my associate here, pray tell? Yugira, we can discuss business after. Pray, lend the inspector here, the handsome one, whatever assistance he requires. But, but Lady Derilda, what about? Ah, uh, yes, my dear Maria's name day present. I had in mind one of the prize pieces from SMA's last, latest seasonal collection. You would be able to procure one for me, yes? Or shall I eliminate the middleman and take make the trip to Uldan myself? <laughs> Excuse me. You can tell when I'm not happy with how I voice a box of dialogue because I go <laughs> afterward, like a two-year-old. I'll say it once more, Gugiria. I expect you to give the inspector and his companions your full assistance. They, yes, even the stupid one, helped me regain something truly priceless. Yes, something more valuable than any mere trinket. Her daughter's love. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll tell you what you want to know. But you didn't hear it from me. Got it. I was looking into the kiln on behalf of a client of mine. The thief's got himself some of that zombie dust. The traitor's spurn, was it? And his cards speak of five victims. So it got me thinking. Sealed. Five victims. I. Arbiters of Truth. The Arbiters of Truth. I'm not familiar with that name. I uh, few would be on account of them being something of a secret society and all. Influential personages of the Sultanate, you see. Working from the shadows to keep false knowledge about the Ulda Sildir conflict from reaching the ears of folk like you and me. Hmm. False knowledge. Pray tell, what sort of knowledge might that be? Balls, balls, don't make me say more. I've got a family to feed. Very well. Just tell us one last thing. Who hired you and where can we find him? Cobb. His name's Hobb. When he heard what I said, he told me that he was going to set sail for Limsa with his five best cell swords to guard his back. He said there were many prying eyes at the airship docks. They had a private ship docked and waiting for him at Vesper Bay. 
But, but remember, you didn't hear none of this from me. This man, Hob, must be one of the killer's targets. Doubtless, he also knows the identity of the remaining one. Excuse me. I doubt that. They say the arbiters, arbiters are so secretive, they don't even know each other's true identities. Now, don't ask me how all, that all works, but... Hobbs got high-ranking friends in the Brass Blades. Once he heard the victims had all been zombified, he panicked. Guess he knew that he'd be next. Oh, excuse me. Thank you very much, kind sir. Once again, the ancient mandible art of parlay has procured for us a key morsel of knowledge. Let us seek out this Hob fellow and see what he can share with us. And let us hurry. The man's life is in danger, even as we speak. I assume that's my problem. I would love to see a polygon count for this top versus, like, this entire outfit. So I bet they're similar. Ah, fuck yeah, hippos. Good hippo card stuff, fuck yeah. Big fan of the hippo. Hmm. There is an amber alert on my phone. Well, I don't live in Lithonia, so I can't help you. That's pretty far away. Don't live anywhere near there. Ah. That looks like a dead guy. Master Hob, is everything quite all right? Mm. No, stand back. Ellie, that fuck. How do I do acceptable? Oh, Reginald, no. Stand back. Ellie, fuck. I don't know how to do that with excitement. Hunger. I hunger for your brain. Damn. There's no saving the man. Vashim, do what you must. I guess. Ah, don't drop more stuff on the floor. I need it to play with so I can pretend to focus on live stream by just playing with objects. Whoops. Yes, my first-hand knowledge of zombies tells me this particular shade of green is unmistakable that of the undead. Oh, it's Hildebrand. Hildebrand, yes. My first-hand knowledge of zombies tells me that this particular shade of green is unmistakably that of the undead. Twitch seem we were a few moments too late to the scene. A message. And then there was one. I don't even think that's a person. That's definitely a walking morph suit. There it is again. Hmm? Is something the matter, Inspector? Indeed, Nashu, there is. Ever since I picked up the trail of the Phantom Thief, I've had this fleeting sense. A sense that someone or something is watching us. The thief must be close at hand. We should be careful. For the moment, let us return and report our findings to Miss Fissil. Feliz. For the moment, let us return and report our findings to Miss Feliz. Secret society or no, knowing the identities of its members may lead us to the final victim. I, too, had best return to the Mithril Eye. Let us meet up again after... I'll see what new clues I can uncover in the meantime. You will do nothing of the sort, Miss Ellie. These streets are far too dangerous for you to walk alone. Inspector! Inspector! I'll go with her. If you insist, Nashu, then I give you my leave. But pray be wary. Not just of the thief, but of Miss Ellie. She is quite the temper, as we both know. Please punch him in the face. It would be funny. Classic scolding. I hope Briardine's in the latest Hildebrand. Miss Ellie, there's something I must tell you when this case is over. Be safe and promise me you will not attempt anything rash as you did that time when the fiend took aim at my own life. Your life, Inspector. Ah! At Costa del Sol. Yes, that was quite the ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at my character. They're all like, <laughs> Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'll be careful, I promise. I eagerly await the day when I may hear what it is you wish to share with me. What you would share with me. Fuck, whatever. 
A secret vow, ho ho. Consider my interest peaked as well, good inspector. Now, let us be off. Miss Felice waits our report. Uh, pretty sure I'm just gonna fast travel. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. That was so fucking lame. Any who's it. Let's continue. I hope I spy some more interesting glam fodder while we're working around. We're about to get a lot more glamour toilet storage, so I'm gonna need A fourth victim? Thal, have mercy. Were you able to glean aught of connection to the other victims? The Arbiters of Truth? No, no, it cannot be. Somebody help! It's Ellie, but I can't scream in Ellie's voice because I'm a coward. Miss Ellie? The voice came from the direction of the vault. We must hurry. Oh, it's cutscene. I was going to make a stupid comment about the NPCs. Oh. Oh. Miss Ellie, are you hurt? Th that man. I only thought to ask him a few questions, but before I knew it was happening, he was upon me. I could only... Hmm. Bash his brains in with... Excuse me. Hildebrand, investigator extraordinaire. Bash his brains in with a conveniently placed bottle of meat, it would seem. Haha, <laughs> you remind, remind me not to get on your bad side, Miss Ellie. But that said, is Nashu not with you? She saw a figure lurking in the shadows and went off in pursuit before I could stop her. Bullshit. This man wears the armor of the Sultan's sworn squire. Yet his face is unfamiliar to me. Something is amiss. Would you look at that? The, the thief of many faces! To think we would find our man like this! Thrice and again did the fiend elude our grasp, but no more. By virtue of a gentleman's ingenious deductions and a lady's pugil Puissance. 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 A competitive test of a horse's ability to jump large obstacles in a show jumping. Nine horses contested in last night's Puissance. Or, great power, influence, or prowess. Fuck you using big words I don't know. For rice again did the fiend elude our grasp, but no more. By virtue of a gentleman's ingenious deductions and a lady's pugilistic puissance, I declare this case closed. You are a f fucking moron. I return this satchet to you, Miss Felice. Whilst the gesture was appreciated, in the end it proved superfluous to my cracking of the case. Uh, how does any of this have to do with anything? It's going to reveal that that dude is... Disguised as a dude. That's what's gonna happen. It's a dude that someone disguised to look like the dude. I'm calling it now. While you're at it, is there anything else of immense value you'd like to wantonly destroy? Why, well, hi, it's dude who I did a bad voice of earlier. What? What is the meaning of this? Ingenious. A double disguise planned by the thief to throw off his trail, no doubt. This is Goig, one of my most valuable, one of my most capable men. I assigned him to guard the vault and outfitted him with ample supply of damasking dust. It is inconceivable that the thief could so easily elude his grasp. I've forgotten what he sounded like. Unless the thief was not wearing a mask. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Miss Ellie? No, that's impossible. Of course, it all makes perfect sense. 
With the Phantom Thief to thank for her burgeoning read readership and arrives through the ranks of the Mithril Eye, Miss Ellie could not bear to face the possibility of a story of a lifetime coming to an end. Thus, she hatched a plan to... You're an idiot. I forgot how fucking dumb Hildebrand was. Like, as a person. I'm free. My lady, the vault has been breached. The wise men's whisper, it's gone. I don't remember. What For her foul crimes against the Sultanate, I hereby declare Ellie of the Mithril Eye, the thief of many faces, an enemy of the state. Deploy all troops and do not rest until she is in custody. And now the game is truly afoot. Yeah, my man Greg. Bah, what is the meaning of all this racket and rumpus? And just as we were about to make our triumphant return, isn't that so, Inkadu? God, I love Inkadu. He's my favorite character. That is not a joke. Inkadu is the best. Oh no, Ellie's gonna get zombie bombied. Miss Ellie, Miss Ellie. What shadow you said you saw? I think it was just a dormouse. Oh no, it's been replaced by, yeah. To think he'd literally stumble face first onto the second mask. His good fortune truly knows no end, but not to worry. Yes, I dare say the Phantom Thief has another trick or two up his sleeve. It's it's totally out. How there's any question about that at this point. Question is whether or not they realize Nashu is not Nashu. Not Nashu. Hey! <laughs> Jokes. The <laughs> was me killing myself. Ravanzi's. Not even the shockingest turn of events. Turn of events will deter the famed agent of inquiry. Oh, do tell. My ever loyal associate, we must find Miss Ellian quickly. Surely, if confronted, blah, blah, blah. surely if confronted by her constant companions, she can still be convinced to abandon this full plan. Oh ho, Miss Felice! I thought you had already departed in the company of your men. Ha! Ah! I'm late, but I'm here for voice acting. Boy, howdy, are you? You missed the most recent. Okay, let me give a quick recap of a development. We've discovered that Miss Ellie is most likely the thief of many faces. Anyways, oh ho, Miss Felice. I thought you had already departed in the company of your men, but all for the better. Shall we conduct a search together? I fear that would only put them at greater risk. Mm hmm? You see, the fifth and final member of the Arbiters of Truth, the Phantom Thief's final target is none other than H H Hildebrand Mander. Me, mind you. It is not a role I sought to my own accord. My name and my passion for history are somewhat well known in the Sultanate. One day I received an anonymous letter stating that a position in the committee had, re had opened and I had been chosen to fill it. The letter went on to enumerate my duties to prevent the spread of historical lies that would sully the name of our illustrious nation. As a high-ranking officer in the Sultan Sworn, I was deemed to be particularly unique Excuse me. I was deemed to be in a particularly unique position to serve as the Arbiter. An Arbiter, excuse me. I knew that there were other members of the organization, but was told nothing of their names or identities. To think that my unknown compatriots were the victims all along. I cannot put any more lives in danger. I will sequester myself in a place where my presence can cause no harm, until such time as the killer is apprehended. How it goes? It goes pretty well. Your concern for our well-being is most touching, Miss Felice, but there is no need for such caution. As a seasoned inspector, I am more than capable of protecting a lady in distress. And as a gentleman, that is exactly what I shall do. My associates here also stand at your side. Speaking of which, has anyone seen my loyal assistant? Inspector, over here. That's not Nashu. That's the thief of many faces. 
Ah, there you are, Nashu. You really shouldn't run off on your own like that. I was worried sick about you. I'm sorry, Inspector. Miss Ellie said she saw somebody in the shadows, so I went to take a look. Now there wasn't any anything there but a dormouse. But it was a really cute dormouse, you see. It just kept squeaking and scurrying away, and I just... <clears throat> Pardon me for a moment, Nashu. Yes, my inspector's sense speaks to me. Someone is watching us. Varsham, let us split up and canvas our surroundings. Hildebrand, Inspector Extraordinary. I've, I, I've already thrown my voice from doing, like, the high-pitched Lollafell earlier. Uh, hmm. Where is Miss Ellie? Do you think she went looking for the Dormouse, too? Yeah. Why is typing hard? Doot, doot. I really wish the Doubt Emote would do something in that instance. That'd be fun. Water stained letter. Okay. Water stained letter lies conspicuously on the floor. Be wary and be warned. A fucking what? Oh. Where did Hildebrand go? Water stained letter lies on the floor. Trust no one and your friends all the less. Oop, ba -doo -doo. This is going to tell me a water stain. There's a pouch next to that one. You see it? It's right there. You see it? You see it? This will avail you well. Use it wisely. You attain a snatchet of damasking dusk. I mean, in the next instant, you feel an intimidating presence behind you. Oh, God. It's Godbird. Oh, ho, ho. Hold on. Hildebrand. Hildebrand. Oh, ho, ho, if it isn't my beloved son's staunch companion, the mighty Varsham. I was in the area on a manner of business, which I curtailed when I felt a suspicious presence from the shadows. Pursuing it led me here. Mayhap it is the same for you. Yes, very much so. You should wear pants, by the way. Oh, ho, ho, so your pursuit of the thief of many faces has taken quite the unexpected turn. And now you've come upon a series of anonymous letters. Mayhap our watcher in the shadows is a friend. Or is this but another trap laid by the fiend? Yes, the plot thickens like a dollop of salamander oil. In either event, I dare say the circumstances call for utmost caution. The thief could be anywhere, or anyone. Myself excluded, of course. No mere mask could replicate the physique of this Mandeville man. Okay. That said, I fear my dear Hild Hildy may be in a bit over his head this time. Allow me to assist in your investigations. Were anything to happen to Hildebrand, his dear mother would uh, uh, not be pleased. His mother would go crazy. Where the fruit caking fuck did Hildebrand go? If the cinder speaks true, the villain even now lurks within our midst. And yet we have but a single sacket of remaining dusk, of demasking dusk at our disposal. We must identify the imposter beyond reasonable doubt before we proceed. It's Nashu. I know the player, you know the players better than I, Varsham. Let's say you have a few words with each of them and see if there's aught to miss. Okay. Hey, Felice. Am I doomed to share the same fate as the others? Excuse me? Why is this Lala fell back there? Am I doomed to share the same fate as the others? I'd sooner die than become one of those things. Hold the fuck up. Something just isn't right. I... Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I've seen this dude. He's been in the other cutscenes, but whom's the fuck is this? I mean, it's Nashu. I know it's Nashu. I, there was a cutscene that revealed it was Nashu. Which means it's probably Briardine. Miss Ellie is the phantom thief. It is the only logical conclusion... And yet, I cannot help but feel that another truth still evades us. Inspector Briardine told me all about it. Who'd have thunk Miss Ellie was the Phantom Thief all this time? She sure fooled me. Just gonna repeat the same thing? Okay. I'm suspicious. 
Nothing particularly odd about any of them, you say? It stands to reason. The Fiend would not take such a risk if he were not utterly confident that he could pull off the ruse. Curses, this one's not half the fool his son is. I must elude him, and quickly, time is of the essence. Poor Nashu, so oblivious. No, that Nash, that's not Nashu. That's, that's the thief. There was a cutscene before this where the thief knocked out Nashu. Looking like Nashu. And Hildebrand already knows that that's not Nashu. It's like, he's, that's the only friend that he has. I question the Sultan sworn outside. To a man, they insist they have seen naught of Miss Ellie. Wherever could she have gone? Hildebrand, Inspector Extraordinaire. Father, what brings you here? I'm already mushing voices together. Oh, it's been an hour and 40 minutes, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, so finally the pieces are coming together. Now, if you would kindly stand still and shut up, the fiend already stands among us. Inspector Briadine! I should hope you are not doubting me. It, he is, because he's also stupid. While I'm convinced that even a master impersonator would struggle to recreate your particular brand of idiocy, the fact remains that anyone here who has spent even a moment alone must be considered a suspect. The thief has proven to be highly efficient at assuming new identities. At a suit observation, my gangly friend. I'd say this occasion calls for a dose or two of that powder Varsham found earlier. There wouldn't happen to be another sachet or two lying around, would there? What remains of our supply has already been distributed to the search party. But worry not, they should be reporting back within a bell's time. Ha, time might be against me, but just you watch. I'll wiggle my way out of this and turn you into the reeking, drooling corpse you deserve to be. I fear that is more than time than we can afford, Miss Felice. Fortunately, my powers of deduction will lay the fiend's face bare within minutes. We know that, given the choice, the thief prefers to impersonate familiar personages. As Miss Ellie has only passing interactions with my dear father, we can eliminate him from consideration. That leaves myself, Nashu, and Varsham here. Hildebrand, Inspector Extraordinaire. Nashu and I, in particular, have had a close and extended relationship with our subject. I shall begin by questioning my own assistant. I assure you that none would know her better than I. Brilliant reasoning as ever, Inspector. Go on, ask me anything. All the times for this overstuffed buffoon to start talking sense. If you ask me anything too obscure, my cover's as good as blown. My relationship with Nasu is so close, I dare say at times as if we even share a mind. If this Nasu is truly my ever-loyal assistant, she should have no trouble completing my thoughts. Ahem. I am a Mander, Mander, Manderville. Jesus Christ. Man. Doing what only a Manderville can. From the peaks of Corathus to Thanalan, Mander, Mander, Manderville. Man, you're the best, Inspector. When don't your voices get mashed together during one of these streams? Uh, for about the first 30 minutes. A perfect score. You may rest easy, dear friends. This unmistakably, unequivocally, indubitably, the true Nashu. I thought there was going to be an is there and it threw me. I never loved you more than now, you marvelous muttonhead you. Nashu, is something the matter? Just because you've picked up a few more wrinkles beneath your eyes, there's no need to avert that charming face of yours. Wrinkles! Wrinkles! Look who's talking, you crusty, cretinous old... Uh, genius inspector? The charade is up, Miss Ellie. <laughs> mm, that silence. And there she is. <laughs> Why are you surprised? Oh, it's because it's her twin, I think. I'm just guessing. I don't remember, actually. Miss Ellie, you look somehow different. Mm. 
Mm, silence, my favorite. Oh. Still doing quests, I see. I think the rest of the, like, all the cutscenes happen in this area. So I think we're pretty much just a Hurian woman. Who's this unfamiliar woman? What secrets does she hold? I think it's her sister. Like, if I remember correctly, it is her sister. That's how there's two of them in a number of cutscenes. Seven Hells, done by a muscle-bound muttonhead and his motley troop of mummers. Just who are you? Your resemblance to Miss Ellie is most uncanny, and yet... Consulting Inspector Briardine, once again, you fail to measure up to your lofty reputation. Of course we resemble each other. Ellie is, after all, my own flesh and blood. My beloved sister and my eminently capable partner in crime. A thousand faces I may wear, but only one name do I bear. You can call me Sissy. Charmed, I'm sure. Are you quite alright? Why, you look as if you've seen a ghost. Despite my moniker, I assure you that Ellie and I are no specters. What we are, mind you, are the last living scions of Sildin aristocracy. Amused, are you? Befuddled? To find two sisters behind the mask. Try using your brains once in a while. Every time you encountered the thief, Ellie was standing right in your midst. No, the thief that four times stole the show. Oh, and those priceless relics was me. Meanwhile, Ellie hid in plain sight, supplying me with just the knowledge I needed to stay one step ahead of my pursuers, all while spinning the hair-raising tales of my exploits that won the hearts of this nation. We owe a lot to you, truly. Without the tales of your hapless attempts to catch me, we never could have risen to the heights of celebrity. Ah, Miss Cersei. From a gentleman to a lady, I would ask you one thing and one thing only. Just what is it that you and Miss Ellie hope to accomplish with all of your schemes? Justice. 400 years ago, Uldan dogs reduced our great nation to a nation of zombies. At long last, the cowards would still justify these foul deeds will suffer the same fate. Wait, the histories say that it was Sildir that turned their own men into zombies. The histories lie. And you work from the shadows, silencing those who would speak the truth. You should have died with your fellows, false arbiter. It was Ulda that ordered the creation of that dreadful powder, and wielded it as a weapon against our proud ancestors. The history of your glorious sultanate is built on a lie. What madness you speak, woman? Not madness, truth. The powder in my possession was stolen from the Undan armory four centuries ago by one of my ancestors. They say it was his final act of courage in the moments before his leg fell off and his rotting head dropped from his shoulders. This is the truth that histories don't tell. The truth that this doe-eyed sultan sworn would keep would kill to keep buried beneath the, uh, excuse me. The truth that this doe-eyed sultan sworn would kill to keep buried in the sands of Thanalan. But your time of reckoning is nigh, oh yes. Before long, you and everyone in this rotten nation will know firsthand the horrors of my ancestors knew. <laughs> and just what do you mean by that? Oh, how the idiots lap up the stories. A masked crusader for justice, a dashing rebel waging battle against power and authority. Oh, if only they knew. But they will see soon enough when they're eating each other's brains out on the street. In the last days before our proud nation was raised to the ground, a band of final survivors stole a vast quantity of the power from the Old Dawn vaults, hiding it away in a secret vault sealed with powerful magics. The sole means by which the vault may be opened? By assembling four secret relics of Beldai. Four relics once housed in the royal palace of Sildi, before the Old Dawn dogs stole them and claimed them for their own. And so it dawns upon you at last, yes. Even as we speak, Ellie makes for the vault, the four relics safe in hand. Just think, one day you'll be able to tell your grandchildren you were there when zombie powder rained down on Old Zah. No way, you'll all be dead. <laughs> Preposterous. No, oh, Reginald. But first, you, my dear. You will not even have the pleasure of looking upon the last moments of your precious homeland. Let your flesh lot rot like all your rotten lies. I think not, Miss Sessy. Hildebrand. Excuse me. Hildebrand. Now. 
You idiot, just for once, could you not get in the way? Ooh, we in trouble now. Godbert Manderville. I can't even trust your sorry ours to look after him for a day. I knew it! That present watching over us from the shadows. It was you, my dear wife. The fear in that man's head. I agree, Graven, it is funny. <laughs> Am I to understand that you are Hildebrand's mother? Greg is here. Aye, this is more like it. Hand to hand, skillet to skillet. It is enough to send a warrior's pulse racing. Prepare yourself, Varsham. The time of our final confrontation is nigh. <laughs> Fucking hell. I feel bad for Greg. Do you have potatoes for brains, you overstuffed buffoon? My beloved boy's been turned into a stinking corpse if you hadn't bloody noticed. Dear God. Yeah, I agree, Raven. You, Vashima something, was it? Hildy told me all about your hijinks together. Pleased to meet ye. My dear boys always had a bit of a rebellion. My dear boys always had a bit of a rebellious streak. What can I say? I can come on a bit too strong at times. But can you blame me? This time I thought I'd sit back and leave things to my sorry arse husband here, and look what it got me. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> Just like, yeah. Fucking Hildebrand. Reunited my for my dear boy for the first time in ages, and just look at him. He's green. Fortunately, there's still time to reverse the zombie curse, and I know just the remedy. A file of holy water. The ingredients are simple. A tater of the oversoul rags and a file of twice distilled water. Hi, Corrine. Ah, the pants shitting terror on these people's faces. Yes. Sing it at the market stocks the former, and the latter you can procure from a ta trader by the name of Guest. Now hurry, once the poison spreads throughout his veins, no antidote will save him. In the meantime, I will search for the bumbling bum for the bumbler's bumbling assistant, excuse me. Mwah, Reginald. In the meantime, I will search for the bumbler's bumbling assistant. With any luck, Mish Nashu will still be alive. Curse roulette's a curse? Yes. Ouch! That's smart. Ye gods, Hildy, you're looking... Oh, excuse me. Greg. I've lost Greg. No! Ouch. That's smart. Ye gods, Hildy, you're looking none too hardy yourself. I am Greg. Ah, fuck it. No thanks to you, you bumbling oaf. Now, ye go into a company Varsham here and make yourself useful, or do, you have to re or do I have to reintroduce you to that wall? I just had a 25-minute Quitana. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but of course, my lady. Gilgamesh is ever at your service. Sengat Sundries, was it? Come now, Varsham. There is work to be done. Nailed it. Did Enkidu just, like, try to fucking mad dog Hildebrand's mom? That's a brave chicken he's got there. Okay, we're heading to Sapphire Avenue. Machinists that couldn't help DPS the healer. That is rough. 
My nose is very itchy. <laughs> ah, there's Greg. Oh, what was he? Oversold rags, you say? I fear I've only got a single tater left in stock, and it's already been spoken for. But my good man, you must reconsider. My dear friend's life, and quite possibly mine as well, hangs in the balance. I sympathize with you, plight friend, but a man has to make a living. I've been promised a copious supply of rare chimera membranes for these rags. Unless you can offer me the same, no deal. Gah, you expect us to be able to summon a rarity after nowhere at a moment's notice? Oh, look what we have here. If it isn't the worry of light from the Coliseum. Funny who you meet at the markets. That's going to be what's-your-face. Yeah. With her sister. As it happens, I just returned from my training, and the slaying of ten chimeras just happened to be my task for the day. This chimera membrane you seek, you're more than welcome to share. My lady, you are far too kind. Don't mention it. If it hadn't been for Inspector Hildebrand and Varsham here, I'd still be tag-teaming with that slimy beast and cheating my way to fame and fortune. And I'm a woman who pays her debts. I don't remember what she sounded like, though. I'll take me if that wasn't a veil of the tempest. Ever fuck it, ever since she confessed her trickery and started climbing back up from the bottom of the ranks, I've been proud to call myself one of her biggest fans. Well, I've even half a mind to give you the rags you seek simply for the privilege of meeting her. Blacklisted that machine as soon as I got out. It's the second person I blacklisted today. That sounds terrible. A kind sentiment, my good man. But we are more than happy to uphold our side of the bargain, aren't we, Varsha? And with this, our task here is done. Now let us find this traitor named Guest. We're headed to... Oh, back up to the Chamber of Rule. Okay. Not the Alchemist. They're going to be up here. Uh, no. The one door over. Pulled ACT up as soon as I know his trash pulls are going slow. But we're like, were they a newbie machinist? Or were they like a level 90 machinist who just sucked a lot? The blundering Mandeville boy is on his last legs and you need something of mine to save him, you say? <laughs> Perhaps you can give me a reason why I should care. Those bloody Mandevilles are richer than the traders themselves, yet they have the audacity to haggle me down to the last gill for every purchase. If the family line ended today, I'd be happier and wealthy, man. And now I believe the ballroom calls. Good day to you. Do pass along my condolences to the grieving parents. Have you not a shred of honor or compassion in that spindly body? Business rival or no, the man is on death's doorstep. <laughs> Here you fuck. After the events of that day, my father will not so easily forgive and forget. But it matters not to me. No, my love is for you. Is as deep as the seven seas. I beg of you, my lady. May I have this dance? The fuck is happening? Is it the actual... Oh, it's the actual dude and lady. Varsham, what a lovely surprise. Are you here for the ball, perchance? Nope. Heavens, the poor inspector. Well, if it isn't the Lapis Maiden in the flesh... What say you bid farewell to the preening fops and scurry adventures, scruffy adventures, and shout dance with the cultured- I fucking can't remember anyone's fucking voice! I think leveling, but still you should think people would be better at a job that starts at 30, I would think. I don't know. Well, if it isn't the Lapis Maiden in the flesh, what say you bid farewell to preening fops and scruffy adventures and shout dance with the cultured gentleman befitting your great beauty? Fuck me. It's 10 o'clock, all right? I need to go to bed soon, all right? <laughs> Why, it would be a pleasure and an honor both, my lord. If, if, give him the shit that we want. Provided you first provide my good friend Varsham with the bottle of twice distilled water that she seeks. That you just happen to be carrying around. I'm pretty sure I have a bottle of twice distilled water in my inventory. 
Knowing me, probably do. Carry garbage everywhere with me. Y you know this woman. Bah. If that's the price you would set, so be it. Take it. It's barely worth its weight in gill anyway. Now shall we, Miss Arabella? I'm kind of rushing. I really want to go to bed. It's, it's too many voices that I don't remember. I'm going to do simpler voices next time, which may sound crazy, but hopefully th there should be less characters in the future. <gasps> There's more old people, though. Oh, God, I'm bad at old people voices. I knew Hildy would be a, to, to be a worthy rival, but to think he was beloved by so many. Clearly, this realm would deeply mourn his loss. Quickly, Vasham, let us deliver these goods while there's still time to save him. Oh, yeah, fuck you. They're in a lot of cutscenes, too. Us, uh, the old people are in so many cutscenes. But spoilers, so I'm not going to tell anything else about the next one. But did it. Ah, Godbird's standing up. Where's the other two? Eh, who cares? I trust the two of ye wouldn't dare come back empty handed. No, God, no. Jesus fucking Christ, no. I would actually die. Probably. Bloody brilliant. I, I'd take you over my muscle-headed half-wit of a husband any day. Now just stand back and let me show you some real Mandeville home cooking. Thaw, you bloody bugger. Guide my skillet. Aye, that should do to stop its spread. Now it's up to Hildy to flush what's left out of his system. Don't worry, he's my son after all. I reckon he's still got some fight left in him. Just sitting here doing this. Look who I found. She was slumbering obliviously in a rubbish strewn corner of Pearl Lane. She probably demolished the city with her skillet in a fit of rage if anything happened to Hildy. Probably. She probably murdered the people who did it. Boy, did that nap feel good. You were fucking, like, punched in the face and fell unconscious. Najee, oh, Jesus. Yes, I'm sure it did. Washam, what has it that Ellie has been sighted at the Sildin Ruins? We must go there with all haste. Yes, I agree. You've done well to my dear boy today. Don't worry, I'll hand her things from here. There's a nice warm bed for him, and I know, think I know a few specialists who might know a thing or two about his condition. What the seven hoes are you standing around for? The future will die at stake. Once again, uh, having Ulda being your starting city is good because Ulda is frankly more important narratively to the story than most of the other cities. By most, I mean both of the other starting cities. You get fucked both of them. Bashim, my strength is yours as well. For Ulda and for our friend Hildi. You, you remind me of my husband. But with he having more muscles than scent, if you're so keen on making yourself useful, why don't you run to the markets and bring me some fire crystals? Just keeping my dear, uh, excuse me, keeping my dear boy warm is key to fighting off the zombification. Let's see, I believe 20 cases or so should suffice. I am a warrior, not an, uh, 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 yes, my lady. Well, Daw's the best. Fuck yeah, it is. I like that he's at the market board buying crystals. I say, Inkidu, the burden we must bear simply to secure my long awaited final confrontation with Vashim. That said, the events of day today have given me cause to reflect. Basham and Hildy both, oh, to be blessed with such veritable legions of friends, tried and true. But alas, not I. No, only one true friend I have ever known, and she is long lost to me. You are a fine bird, and you have given me great comfort in my travels, but you will never be Inkadu, my one and true companion. Oh, friend... Were you here with me? Even Vasham could not stand against our combined might. Oh, fuck. I remember what's happening now. Oh, Inkidu, wherever you may wander. Fuck. <coughs> hear my words and return to my side. Inkidu, do you hear me? Inkidu! I, I, my voice is fucking going. And he's a retard, so he summoned it. Ye gods, what was that flash from the heavens? It nearly blinded me. And what? The crystals. Where have they gone? 
Fancy meeting you here, old friend. That voice! Could it be? That voice is trashed. Yes, it is. My faithful companion! Why must you always make me wait so? He could use a primal. Julian would send you on your way. Okay. What are you doing dilly-dying around here? Let me jog your memory. There's a moonsick maid digging around at the Sildan ex excavation site with her mindset on turning Uldah into a land of the walking dead. Your consent for Hilding's most touching, but don't you worry. Mommy Dearest isn't going to let her beloved son kick the bucket that easily. I think we have another fight with Greg before it's over. And I'm just going to unsink and beat the shit out of him. Because I want to go to bu -bu -bu bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for sleep. Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> I'm entertaining myself. Go fuck you. All right, Felice. We've managed to track down Miss Ellie just up ahead. Where your friends watch where your friends watch over her as we speak. Yet no matter how many times we try to reach out to her, she refuses to so much as answer. Needless to say. I'm still entertained. Get fucked. Needless to say, we considered physically incapacitating her, but that crate she's sitting on isn't just a makeshift chair. It's filled with a brim with traitor's spurn. One misstep, the consequences could be dire indeed. You are our only hope, Barsham. Even in her single minded rage, surely the time you spent together must count for something. You need not put yourself in undue danger. I only ask that you step forth to, excuse me, that you step forth to where your voice may be heard and call out your friend's name. I beg of you, Varsham. Surely if anyone convinced the woman to abandon her madness, it's you. What's the chat mode and say? You Ellie, okay. Uh, where, oh, there she is. But I just get like, I'll uh, just go here and um. Hello! Oh, there's actually someone doing this fate. There's two people doing this fate. Oh, good for them. Okay, so we stand here. I was supposed to do Ellie with an exclamation point. Whoops. I got a text message and a phone call. Hmm. Fuck that. Ah, oh, fucking skip the dialogue box. So it was you after all. Consider me disappointed. Do it. Tell her. Your sister Ceci is already in custody. Surrender now and I'll see no harm befalls her. <coughs> Excuse me. How little you understand us, Inspector. Then again, how could one be born into a life of power and privilege ever hope to understand? Cessie and I have no family, no friends, no fortune, nothing. Two sisters against the world with only our quest for justice to give us meat. Long ago, we made a vow. If the worst happen, our mission takes priority over all. Yet, over our own wretched lives... You see now, anything I might have once had to lose, I lost long ago. Now stand down or suffer the same fate as Uldan dogs you would defend. Ellie, stop this madness. I'm sorry, Inspector. It's fucking Zambi time. <laughs> I don't like the way they undulated at Nashu. That was weird. There's too many of them. <laughs> Fuck. Very 
All in a day's work for a mandible man. Build a brand. Yep, there it is. Fucking hell. Noise. Goldsmith LB3? Pretty much. That's pretty much exactly what that is. There's a lot of zombies. You'll only delay the inevitable. I have an entire legion of undead at my back. And at my beck and call. Face it. It's only with Inspector Hildebrand's ridiculously good fortune that you even made it this far. And he's as good as six foams under. Before one girl. No, oh, excuse me. Know that I speak from experience when I say, underestimate Hildy, and you do so at your own peril. I'm afraid you underestimate me as well. No mere splash of holy water can stave off the effects of traitor's spurn. I fear the good inspector's luck has finally run out. Dolls, balls, is there no end to them? I'm not liking our chances. Greg, was it? a shame to lose you, Varsham. Warrior of light that you are. You might yet have served one last purpose for us. Go forth, my zombie minions. Ball. Yeah, there it is. You underestimate the king of the zombies. When darkness falls and hopes fade to despair, four warriors born of light will descend in the righteous glare. Bargain me with a broadsword. Are my eyes to be believed? That pose. No. These are not four warriors of light that I see. They're four gentlemen of light. Fucking hell. <laughs> Just so, my good man. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has made his triumphant return. Did you miss me? Hi, we meet again, girl. Tell me you've got to be snurbly tonic, or I'll fashion ye fashion myself a wig from your lovely locks if I've ripped and clean for your bloody head. Oh, hello there, Mr. Alizair. Oh, you're looking absolutely splendid today. Impossible. The holy water couldn't have cured him. It didn't. Fortunately, our overlord spent quite some time building up an immunity to zombie powder. When we heard Master Zombie Brand was at risk of joining the actual dead, we knew we had to take action. An immunity to... I'm just going to pretend that makes any kind of sense. Hild Hildebrand is the leader of the zombies, by the way. This, this was a thing established in the beginning. The game is up, Miss Ellie. Pray, abandon this madness. Besides, plots of mass murder hardly suit a lady like yourself. Fucking hell, it's so stupid. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that'd be my reaction, I think. Just fucking give up. It's over. It's all over. The start of Hildebrand stuff is so much fun. It's free. You said there was something you would tell me when all was through. I imagine you have no words for me now. Ellie, your powers of deduction are wanting. You said you had lost everything and everyone you had to lose, did you not? 
As for me, I have found something, someone who I intend never to part. I care not if it takes years, even decades. When you emerge from your jail as a free woman, I will be there. What say you? And healed over. Look at these dipshits over here in the fucking corner. Who are you? <laughs> Miss Ellie, while the crimes perpetrated by you and your sister are um, unpardonable, you are far from the only ones guilty. On behalf of the syndicate, I offer my apologies for the false aspirations cast upon your ancestors. You said that the nation of Uldar was built on lies. Seeing what I have seen today, I cannot deny your words. It will not be an easy task to rewrite, nay, restore history. But know this, I will do everything in my power to bring the truth to the fore. Hildebrand. My phone's about to tell me it's bedtime. In. Greg's smiling face. Ahem. Are we not forgetting something here? And by someone, I mean me. If you're quite done playing cork and dagger, I require Varsham's presence for a matter of far greater importance. Aye, the time of our too long delayed confrontation is nigh. <laughs> as Godbert just chills there in his small clothes. Yeah, as you do. Why the long face, friend? Ah, but mayhap this will have you singing a happier tune. Oh. Fuck, he picked up the sword. Could it be? The treaty blade, and the true one at last. None other, and I have not the slightest intention of parting with it, save to the one who would defeat me in single combat. Ah, but I misspeak. It will not be single combat this time. Is that my key, old friend? I'll be merciful. What is that abomination? Some new breed of void scent? Abomination! I'll thank you to address my companion with courtesy, girl. Ah, but twas the most courteous thing. There I was, holding a crate full of crystals for Hildy's mother, and thinking how much better things would be if my dear friend Inkadu were there. Then came a flash from the heavens, and the next thing I knew, there she was. Look at the zombies. They're just like, uh, we didn't plan for any of this. By the gods, it makes perfect sense. Doubtless, the crystals heard Greg's heartfelt plea, summoning forth his friend. Nay, no mere friend, but rather the primal Inkidu. And the world has now completely and utterly ceased to be bound by the laws of logic. Vashim, you may have bested me in the past. But facing the two of us together will not prove so easy a task. And yet, I trust you will not shirk from the challenge. I, Inkidu, and I shall await you at Amdapur Keep. Tis a ways from here, but what better venue for a climactic confrontation? You would claim the Treaty Blade, then claim it from me as a warrior. To the skies, Inkidu, to the skies! Two against one. That's not very gentlemanly of you, Greg. Come, Varsham, to Amdapur. Okay, Varsham's just like, the fuck is this shit? This is a grave development indeed. 
To think that one man could summon a primal on his own I must send word to the Scions at once. This is why it pisses me off so much in like the end of Stormblood when you have solo characters summoning primals because fuck off, like, Greg is special. Oh, but of course. I had near forgotten we had a warrior of light in our very midst. Please, Varsham, you're our only hope to slay the primal and reclaim the blade. Hey, the zombies believe in me. That's, that's all I need. Speak with Hildebrand near and a poor keep. All right, let's take bets. I'm betting he's going to be face first in the ground. Again. Good. A lot of people. It is a bit of a distance to Amdapur from Thanalan. Uh, yep. I will be conducting. Uh, I missed the first fucking piece of dialogue. I will be conducting my investigation first with. But in the meantime, might I trouble you to entertain Greg and his primal friend in my stead? Together we will reclaim the Treaty Blade from that maid, Varsham. Yes. Uh, just go on ahead and I'll be along directly. Battle in the big keep. Accessible. A giant of a man dressed in red rushed into the keep at great speed, leaving me powerless to stop him. You don't suppose he was one of the cultists? All right, we're going to unsync it because fuck waiting around. The trials, Ramorborn, the battle in the keep. I can murder this all. I might even use food. You know what, let's take this, like, way too seriously. Damn you! Burst. Greg didn't even get to use any dialogue. You'll get no quarter from me this time. Have at thee. You have some skill, I'll give you that. But Gilgamesh has only just begun to fight. Most impressive. Very well. Uh, it's, it's, uh, he's dying too fast. Just fucking kill him. Look at that one. It's a long blade. N never, never again. This I do solemnly swear. Yay. Time to punch a Craig in the mouth. I agreed, and then I did. Aw. Inkadoo's come back to him. Not? Ha ha, I lied again. <laughs> you can take that fussy old blade for all I care. First is true power, and not save the strongest of swords will suffice. I thirst for true power. Warrior of Light, you have proven a worthy opponent, but I warn you, treasure every moment with your weapon. I punch. For as sure as day follows night, the hour will come again when I claim it as my own. Till we meet again. Greg has entirely too many arms. Nah, Hildebrand managed to find his way out of the dirt. Oh, I guess I'm killing this Will of the Wisp. They did nothing to me, but I murdered them anyways. 
What ho, Varshim! Have you seen Greg and his oversized avian companion? Lead them to me at once, and we shall deliver the coup de gras together. Hildebrand. The battle has already been won. That is triumphant news indeed. Clearly, the lessons you have learned from me have not been for naught. And what's this you say? The treaty blade lies hidden somewhere in the nearby wood. Worry not, my ever-loyal associate, for no buried treasure will escape the keen eye of Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Now, which way was the forest again? How much more is there to go? I want to go to bed, bed, bed. Bed, 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 Marsham, what news of the primal and the treaty blade? Uh, the primal's dead, and the blade's somewhere in the, so in the forest. Remarkable. I knew the warrior of light would emerge triumphant. Let us hope that Inspector Hildebrand enjoys similar success in finding the blade. Such design, such craftsmanship. At once bold and beautiful, sensitive and refined. I believe I found the inspiration for my next masterpiece. Of course they're beautiful. They were the greatest treasures of lost Sildir. To think that they are actually locked away in the vaults of those that destroyed our homeland and dragged our ancestors' names through the mud. And just how did you come to know of these long-lost relics? There was a scroll passed down in our family, left to us by our dear grandmother. It spoke of the four warriors of light, their four relics, and an incantation of untold power. We could have wielded this magic of legend. Ellie and I might still have had the last laugh. Alas, speaking of the words had no effect. Only a warrior of light can wield the power, or so the legend goes. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have seen it. The ultimate achievement of the greatest mages this realm has ever known. And just what sort of incantation is this? The ring cast open the doors of justice. The wise man whispers a verdict true. Asim's virtue shines down from the heavens. To complete the incantation, the warrior of light will then hold forth the treaty blade and speak, Blade in hand, I swear unto you. The legends differ as to what happens next, but I'll speak of holy radiance shining down from the heavens. Over here, friends! I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, return with tidings most triumphant. He is running down a hill with a sword. What a dick shit. Behold, safe in my hands, another than the treaty blade, and the real one this time, I swear unto you. Yes, just like that. I swear unto you, then... My word, whatever is this odd tingling sensation? Ridiculous. Hildebrand isn't a warrior of light. He's just some fool who thought he could stop the lesser moon with his own bare hands. It would seem the treaty blade is just as confused as the rest of us. No, the light. Someone stop it. I won't stand to see the legendary power of our forefathers wielded by this muscle-bound buffoon. Skyward Ho! Well, I dare say that proved to be most useful incantation indeed. And so the light of justice that shone from the treaty blade banished the shadow, returning peace to the land. So the legend ended. I must say, I never expected to be quite literally a beam of light. I suppose it would have been... Wouldn't have been much use to us after all. Inspector! Oh, Inspector, wait for me! Balls, balls, Hildy. First, you almost die at your poor mother's feet, and now you fly off to God's nowhere without even giving her a kiss goodbye. A fucking trail of smoke. Oh, ho! It appears that a case of wanderlust has once again struck Hildebrand, as it has many a manifold man before him. 
Godspeed, my boy. When the day comes that you tire of mystery solving, your dear old man will be here to pass on to you the family art. So in the end, the Sildin Incantation of Legend was wielded not by a warrior of light, but a gentleman of light. Well, the Treaty Blade is some six centuries old after all. Perhaps it's not quite as sharp as it used to be. <laughs> the magic that brought peace and happiness to the people of Bell dying. It was every bit as beautiful as I imagined. I think I would see it with my own eyes. It's nothing short of a dream come true. <laughs> Raven thinks it's funny. Hmm. He bumbles and stumbles through yet another case, and he still manages to make a girl's, girl's dream come true. Yeah, Hildebrand's kind of a fucking dude, ain't he? A gentleman to the end, the bloody bastard. That bedtime alarm didn't go off. Look at him go. What's this? A glint in the corner of my eye? A curious scent wafting in on the winds from a far-flung land. Do I smell a case? Worry not for me, my friends, for wherever the wronged one for succor, I, Hildebrand, shall be there till we meet again. Fucking Hildebrand. Such a fucking goober. Oh, yeah. Hildebrand will return, question mark. Wait for it. <laughs> Goodbye, crystal thingy. Such a nice young man. Cool. You've completed the quest, Hildebrand, Agent of Inquiry. Exiting New Game Plus. Well, back to the Gold Saucer then. I need to collect my winnings from the lotto before I go to bed. I'm actually really close to getting the achievement for winning a, uh, a million gil from the, uh, the cack pot. It's taken a long fucking time, but it's close. I I think I'm 70,000 MGP away. So, you know, just a lot more cat bots to go. It's getting there. So that's Hildebrand for A Realm Reborn, which means next time we're going to do Hildebrand in Heavensward. And that's gonna be fun. I like. The, I think Hildebrand Heavensward is probably the funniest Hildebrand. At least I thought it was really funny. At least I thought it was really funny several years ago. I am creeping on glamorous again. Don't mind me. Any who's a what's it? I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna do that. Goodbye. Hold on. Maybe I'll see if I can raid someone. No. Okay. Goodbye. I see you on Tuesday. Ooh.